And most of you know that technique is really important to become a great dancer. If you want to get sexy leg action, you really need to know and understand the difference between stepping versus dancing and using your feet and your legs in a way that makes one step feel so important. The stroking and the usage of your legs. That's what we're gonna focus today's lesson on. So shall we get started? So we're gonna marry a bitch to me now, would ya? Weight on your right foot, bring your ankles together. We're gonna maintain pressure in the toe of your left foot, since you're doing a mirror image to me. You press down, feel that nice energy, yeah? So you have no weight in that foot, okay? No weight meaning, hey, I can pick it up. No weight, right? Because all your weight is on your right foot, right? Feel the pressure in the leg that is bent. So that's your left leg. Press down into where your big toe is in contact with the floor. Feel them talk to each other right there. So whispering sweet nothings. You're gonna take that foot and maintain that conversation of the foot with the floor. And take it out to the side. Then transfer your weight. Now, your right foot is having a conversation with the floor. Maintain that pressure in that right foot. And then pull it in like you're cutting a line in the floor. Then you take it back out again, maintaining the energy through your big toe as you then transfer weight. And now, the free foot, the foot you're not standing on, has the pressure into the floor. And now you're gonna pull that big toe Cutting again, a line into the floor. Now let's move into the knees. What are the knees doing? So the leg, your left leg has a really bent knee. Now you're gonna keep that knee bent as much as you can until the last moment. It's gonna straighten right before you transfer weight because we're doing international cha-cha. And that's why. Two straight legs. Now you're gonna bend into your right knee. Then you pull that foot in. Nice. Keep that knee bent. Then you extend beautifully through that foot as you then transfer your weight. Left foot, pull that in, bend into that knee a lot, a lot, really a lot. Good, then keep that bend and then slowly start to straighten and it straightens right before you place your weight onto that foot. Another leg, one more time. And take it back out, over there. Good, when I say one more time, I mean one more time, on this side too. And take it back out again. And right foot comes in. And right foot goes out. Nice. There's so many things I want to tell you, but there's so little time. Can I add on one more, please? Okay, all right. So one more, which is your turn out, which I always emphasize. So we strike turn out position. This is nice and beautiful. As you take your foot out to the side and you step onto that foot, just maintain that toes pointing out heels in. Now when you release your weight off of your right foot, you also want to make sure that you press your right heel forward. So to maintain that nice turnout because now you're showcasing, hey look at my beautiful shoe. Or foot if you're not wearing shoes. Then you bring that foot in and as you bring it out again, make sure that you're not stepping like this. Yeah, but you're placing foot, heel in a turnout position. And then as you release your weight off of your left foot, you're pressing your left heel forward. I feel that nice articulation. Like, imagine that somebody's pressing onto the top of your left foot and you're pressing away. So those are the things that we're gonna be working on today for stroking action. That's why I'm gonna put together a small little teeny weeny weeny combination that you can work on, really simple. Just focusing on side steps and closes. Let's first check out the footwork from the back side. Weight on the left foot, of course. Going to the side with the right. Stroke the foot out. Transfer your weight. Then bring your left foot in. And switch. 
switch your weight over to the left. Right foot draws out, transfer weight. Pull the left foot in, switch your weight. Right foot goes out, energy through the balls of the feet. Transfer your weight, pull your left foot in, switch. And right foot to the side, transfer weight. Pull the spine on that foot. Draw your left foot in, and switch your weight out. And from another angle, and to the side, energy through the leg, straighten it and then transfer. Then pull that leg in and switch. Then draw to the side, transfer your weight. Stretch your knees apart, pull the leg in, switch ankles together. To the side, transfer, pull it in, switch. Side, transfer, pull it in, and juicy switch of the weight. As with everything, we gotta put some counts to this, shall we? A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. Those are your counts, pretty simple, right? Now, weight is on the left. We go out on the right on one, two. Transfer weight, three, four. Draw left foot in, five, six. Switch, seven, eight. Out, one, two, stop. Now, we're gonna use those two juicy counts, the entire length, of the count to create that one stroking action. All right, so before you keep practicing that, I want to show you what not to do. So I want you not to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No pauses, no, no, nine, zero, zilch. Manual. No pauses, continue the movement, transfer weight, and work through your feet. Imagine my hands are my feet now, it's how I'm talking to you. <laughs> All right, so imagine that you're moving through, stroking your feet, drawing your knees, and then closing. So the movement is continuous through the legs. Let's see that again with the counts this time. So keep it continuous and out. One, two, sustain movement. Three, four. Pull it in, five, six, switch, seven, eight, and one, two, transfer, three, four, five, six, switch, seven, eight, keep stroking and transfer, weight and pull it in and switch, do. Nice. And a different angle, this time. To the side, seven, eight, we go, one, Two, transfer, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, press into the floor, one, two, two straight legs, four, five, six, and seven, eight, switch, one, two, transfer, three, work the heel forward, five, six, and seven, last one, one, two, transfer, three, four, five, six, a seven, eight, nice. Set, hold, five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Angles together, switch. Pressing into the floor. Bend your knees a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Feel the stroking action all through your body, not just in your feet. Push, transfer. That's why it's all continuous movement. Five, six, seven, eight. Again, five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, five, six, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, turn around. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, turn out. Press into the floor. Heel up, pull it in, switch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Last one. Three, four, five, six, press. Yeah. So everyone agrees that 
having great technique makes you a great dancer. And 99% of those people will also agree that the technique is oh, like too freaking difficult. This is a Latin dancing business. And that's why I created the 30 day cha-cha challenge. 30 day cha-cha challenge. <gasps> because we're breaking it down into digestible parts and making it so that you can get it. And it's not like this big of mystery because it really isn't. Now I can tell you about all the amazing things our students are saying about the 30 day treasure challenge and how it's changing their lives and how they're improving so much even just after a few days. But I'm not going to. Because I want you to experience it for yourself. That's the only way that it's going to affect you and your life. Because you know what? Too much of our lives are spent watching other people's lives in front of the TV, Netflix, looking at what people are doing or saying on social media. So go and experience it for yourself. 30 days, no excuses, just takes 7 to 15 minutes every single day. I'm going to explode your entire life with passion. You can get to the Charger Challenge simply by clicking right here. It's also in the description below. I'm Lee Wen from Dance Insanity, and in case you don't remember my name, this is how Titus used to remember my name. Bruce Lee, when are you gonna be here? Bruce Lee, when are you gonna be here? <laughs> Honestly, I think that's the lamest thing I've ever heard of anybody trying to remember my name. Hey, and we're at 7,000 subscribers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So you can add on to that 7,000 by one more. Every, every subscriber counts. It means a lot to us. So we're like, hey, it's a little more now. Give our video a like, even save it to a playlist. So you can come back and review it quickly from your channel. Any questions that you have, just put them below. Duh. I'm Lee Wen from Dance Insanity. I will see you in the next B-I-D-E-O. Oh.